All right, it seems like there are some more opportunities now for families to enjoy stories in the park this summer with Storytime GR. So joining us now to tell us more about that is the communications director, Kristen Corrado. Kristen, good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. No problem. So what are some of the options that GRPL offers for families who kind of just want to really get outdoors this summer because they weren't able to do so last year? Absolutely. We know kids have been cooped up, right? Yeah. Um, and so we have a lot of different opportunities to get your kids outside this summer, including many story times in the park. So um, we've partnered with the Grand Rapids Parks and Rec Department, and we've had um, story times throughout the city parks. Um, it's really great. We've also hold, held uh, story times in our own locations outside. So we have what we call libraries on the lawn, which are special spots for families to gather outside the library. And we offer story times there as well. Um, our summer reading challenge, um, we have a whole scavenger hunt that kids can do and find different things. So there's a lot of great ways to get your kids um, engaged in reading during the summer. That sounds so fun, especially the scavenger hunt. So talk a little bit about that in the summer reading challenge. Can kids still participate? How do they, do they have to pick a certain book or do you guys uh, pick the book for them? Absolutely. Well, no, you can pick what you want to read. We know that's important for kids. And yes, you can still participate in the Summer Reading Challenge. You can sign up online or any of our eight locations throughout the city. Um, you have until um, Labor Day weekend to reach your goal, and you get to set the goal. Um, and when you get that, you get a prize for finishing. Um, and if you want to participate in the scavenger hunt, we've, we've partnered with the DAC, the Division Avenue Arts Coalition, to uh, find different summer reading characters throughout the city and once you do you bring it back and you can win some ice cream treats from local uh, vendors. Awesome. Obviously the kids love ice cream so this is not just about the kids though we do know that adults um, read as well. GR Reads is your adult summer program. Can you talk to me a little bit about some of the events that are taking place this month? Sure. So GR Reads, uh, we select six books, um, and you can read as many or few as you like or listen or however you prefer to get your uh, reading in. Um, we do a lot of great um, programs around those books. Uh, for example, um, not this weekend, but next weekend, we'll be having um, a family day in Riverside Park, and we'll be bringing in area photographers so you can get a family portrait taken. We'll have lots of crafts and, of course, story times as well. Um, we're teaching online classes about making pho. Um, so if you're interested in that delicious, delicious Vietnamese dish, um, you can tune into that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of great ways to get involved. Um, we just want to keep the whole family reading during the summer. Yeah, we have about 20 seconds left. So really quick, I know you guys are celebrating your 150th anniversary this year. What are some other ways that people can help you guys celebrate? Well, the best way you can do is to come to the library. Um, starting in September, we'll be having a, um, a library card campaign, and we're hoping to get 1,500 new uh, card members during the month of September to celebrate our 150th anniversary. And there'll be a lot of cool um, gifts and prizes um, associated with that. So stay tuned. But again, we'd love to see you at the library. We've been here for 150 years, and we promise you we'll be here and serving the community for 150 more. A lot of things happening with GRPL. Kristen, thank you so much for joining us this morning.